Hey, Joe Zarger here with Dr. Evan Malone. Uh, we're here in the fourth part or third part of our series on uh, pain management after a car wreck. And we had talked about epidural steroid injections. We talked about uh, pain medicine as a general practice. We talked about uh, medial branch blocks. And now today's topic is radiofrequency ablations, also called RFAs, also called something else that I can't remember the name of it right now. But in any event, these, this is the scary thing where they actually introduce some kind of radio frequency into your body right at the nerve where, the, where they believe the nerve pain is coming from because they've decided as to its location based on prior um, medial branch blocks. And based on the prior medial branch block, they've isolated where the pain is coming from. They go in and they burn it, the nerve ending, because the nerve ending uh, if it's burned, can't produce the pain signal to the rest of the, to the brain. So now these typically last six months to a year. Mm -hmm. Uh, and for that reason, they are reserved for basically the last stage of the pain management type, uh, injection process. Um, I'm going to have Dr. Malone explain to us exactly what a radio frequency ablation is and exactly what they're doing when they uh, do the radio frequency treatment. Yeah, so this is the sensory nerve. You have two kinds of nerves, sensory and motor. So you're not going to have something where you can't move an extremity. It's just that you cannot sense any of the discomfort that you're experiencing. So it turns that off. And that nerve is, it has a little tiny needle that's introduced into it under guidance with x-ray. And then through that needle is where the electrical current is introduced so that you basically burn that nerve fiber on a microscopic level to the point where, hey, while, sometimes while you're on the table even, you don't even feel that, that part anymore, that symptom. Yeah, and so what people need to understand, I think, is that a lot of people hear, oh, they're gonna burn my, I'm not gonna let anybody burn my nerves. That's crazy, I'm not gonna mm -hmm. do that. Yeah. Believe it or not, if you're in a, enough pain, you will, you will resort to these kinds of things because you don't wanna do medicines all the time because it's not practical and it's dangerous. You don't wanna have epidurals and you have to go back every three weeks to a month to have those administered. Yeah. You want something long-term that you don't have to rely on outside sources to, to solve. So uh, radio frequency ablation, is it safe? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's safe and it's for the reason I mentioned because it's done under x-ray guidance. You've gone through the multi-step approach that you laid out. So it's not like you just walked in the door of the pain management doctor and they want they're, to burn your nose. They're notes. not jumping to that. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's safe in the right hands and the right uh, it, protocol. And keep in mind what Dr. Malone says, they're not burning your spinal cord, they're burning a sensory, a tiny sensory nerve that is generating the pain issues. So um, in any event, board certified pain medicine uh, physician or pain management physician uh, are usually the only ones that are that I would recommend that you get these from. They do them every day, all day long. Um, and so they're experts at doing it. If you've had an event that has caused you, a traumatic event that's caused you to have chronic pain, and you are looking at the idea of going to a pain management physician, or you're in pain management, and somebody has brought up this idea of radio frequency ablation, or you have questions generally about car wreck injuries, you can find us on the web at zarzalaw.com, or you can always call us at 855 Hire Joe. Thank you.